So there are a ton of videos out there about how to design websites with AI tools like Midjourney. And while this stuff is really cool, the real question is, is it actually practical? Can you actually use these tools on a real client project? And so in this video, I'm actually going to take you start to finish from generating ideas with Midjourney to actually designing a logo and a website. So let's dive into it. All right. So here we have our client website. This is Blue Sky Villas. This is a vacation rental place in Florida. And as you can tell, their website is very outdated. And so they need a quick refresh. But rather than me going to the drawing board and designing out a ton of different variations to try to figure out what they're looking for, I'm going to dive straight into Midjourney and see what we can come up with. Now, Midjourney works inside of Discord. So I would recommend going and joining our free Discord server specifically for designers. This will be a great place for you to get started because you can look at other people's prompts to get ideas to make your own prompts to get the outputs and designs that you're looking for. So diving right into Midjourney, I'm going to start with just a basic prompt to see what we can come up with. So I'm going to type in backslash imagine to initiate my prompt. And then I'm going to type modern landing page for a vacation rental company in Florida white space, yellow, orange, version five. And once I submit this, it's gonna come back with the first designs. Now, the way that Midjourney works is it comes back with four different variations for you to use. And you can either upscale these or come up with additional variations of a specific design. Now, looking at these first options, this is a little bit too yellow and too dark for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the exact prompt that I just put in, and I'm gonna make some slight adjustments to that. So I'm gonna paste it in here. So I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna get rid of the orange, and I'm also going to add simplistic. I'm hoping that this will make things a little bit brighter, a little bit more professional, cleaner, and I'm also gonna update this to home rental company instead of vacation rental company, because I think that's more of the vibe that we wanna go with. Now we're gonna wait for this thing to load up, and I can already tell that these designs are more of the style that I'm looking for. More white space, more modern, a cleaner, more boxy outline, and I love these right off the bat, right? This is giving me some really good stuff to go off of. And looking at this right away, I can tell that I like this third option, which is in the bottom left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and click V3, which means variations three. So it's gonna take that third option and give me a couple variations. I'm also gonna click V1 just to see what it comes up with. And again, mid journey is off and running, coming up with my different variations of this design. So we'll wait for this to load up and once it's finished, I can open this up and you can see that it's taken that same design and given us four variations of just that one. And with that, I think we're in a great place to pick some of these because this is going to give us our structure and our layout for the hero section of the homepage. And you can see already that this is way better looking than what the client is currently working with. Looking at this other option, I, I think this is good, but this shows more of the interior where for a vacation rental place, I think you want to use more of an exterior image. That way you can show the palm trees, the blue skies. So looking at these, I think with the first one, I'm going to click U1, which is going to upscale that first option just to give me a higher resolution option. You can see here it's working again, showing that it's upscaling image number one. And once that's loaded up, I can go ahead and open that up and see the final product. Cool, so this is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and save this image. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to Figma. This is a great time for me to start pulling the different elements and the layout of this page and actually designing this out so it can be used in real life. Because up to this point, I'm unaware of any way where you can pull the different elements from Midjourney. So let's pull it over into Figma and get started designing. Now I've gone ahead and sped up this process to save us some time, but you can see that I'm duplicating almost everything on this from the header to the different yellow boxes to the structure and layout and position of all of the text blocks. And then the only thing that we're really having to change is rather than a generic call to action, we're gonna go ahead and input these form fields so people can input their arrival and departure dates and also the different specs so they can find the rental that they're looking for. Now for the time being, I'm gonna add a black box where I want my image to go, and then we're gonna be able to dive in and actually search for the image that we want to use. Because right now I'm not gonna pull directly from the mid journey image of the house. While there are probably ways for you to upscale that even more and get a high enough res image to pull over, I'm gonna go ahead and look for an image in Adobe Stock just to make sure that I can find something that looks really clean. Now I'm gonna pull this image over before I purchase it. I'm just gonna pull it into my Figma file and make sure that it looks good. Obviously it's got the watermark, but once I'm sure that this is the image that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and license that image so I get the highest version and I don't get in trouble for copyright infringement. 
and I'm gonna place that into my design. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is come back to Midjourney and find a logo because their current logo is just not good. So I'm gonna type in my prompt, simplistic icon logo of house, sun, and palm tree, white version five. Liking these basic icons that it's generating back to me, there are a couple of these that catch my attention right away. Of course, these are not finalized. So the ones that I do like, I'm gonna go ahead and click variations for the second and the fourth and let Midjourney go back to work, giving me a few additional options based on what I like. And I'm really liking these icon images that it's pulling up. They're really simplistic. It's got the house, the palm tree, and the circle. It's very similar to what they currently have on their site, but it's definitely gonna give it a fresher look. Now, certainly you're not gonna wanna dive into this every time, especially if you're just offering web design, but if you don't wanna go through a full branding process, this might be a great way to scrounge up some ideas, give the client a new fresh look until they're willing to pay for a full branding session. Now, like all the other images, you're not going to be able to pull a final logo out of this. So once you get your final images selected and you upscale them, what you're gonna to wanna to do is select the one that you like the most, go ahead and save that. Now I'm gonna pull that over into Illustrator and I'm gonna speed things up here to show you how I recreated this logo in Illustrator so it's a high resolution PNG so I could pull this over to my website. Now for this reason, I selected a really simplistic logo. You certainly can generate more advanced and more complex looking logos with shading and 3D graphics. But for this instance, I just used a flat design pulled it over into my Figma file, and I think it looks really good. Certainly a lot better than what they had before. So finally, comparing these two websites, one to another, the client's old site, and the new one that I was able to design in less than an hour, you can see there is a massive update, a massive improvement from what they had before. And so this is the power of Midjourney, incorporating this into your project, not to design a final website, but to save you a ton of time in the brainstorming and designing process. The fact that I only entered a couple prompts and I was able to come up with this website should really get you excited because you could put in several prompts, get different ideas of different color schemes, layouts, imagery, and pull all of these things together to come up with a really incredible website. Now, if you wanna know more about how these prompts work inside Midjourney, and you wanna learn more about how the Discord works, go ahead and click this video right here. This is gonna show you everything that you need to know, and I'm excited for you to dive in and start using these new technologies, new AI tools, because it's going to completely change the game and in the future, it's going to completely change your career. So thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please be sure to hit the like button and we'll catch you in the next video.